Hi, it's Miss Becky with the Madison Library. I'm starting a new series today. It's called Quarantine and Rainy Day Ideas. You see, I had COVID in August, early August, and I was in the house and in my room for weeks. Now, I understand that you can get bored when you're on quarantine. And even if you have a long day of, of rain, you can get a little bit bored. So I thought maybe I could have some fun ideas for the kids to do that are stuck in quarantine or just anytime. And I was thinking, you know, I'd seen some ideas with shaving cream that looked like a lot of fun, but I'd never tried them. And when I started looking into them, they were so easy. Well, I told Grandpa Bob about the shaving cream fun that I was gonna teach you about today and he wanted to join us. Come on, Grandpa Bob, and join us. Well, Grandpa Bob, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for, for shaving cream fun, but <laughs> the only shaving cream fun I know is to shave my whiskers. <laughs> I think you may have the wrong idea. Let me show you. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this shaving cream. <laughs> Well, no, no one shaves me except me. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that's my razor. I'm just kidding, Grandpa that, that, Bob. That, this is not fun. <laughs> a little mohawk? I, I think I already had something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't actually be shaving Grandpa Bob today, but I am going to show you some fun things that we're going to do. Let's get started. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, you're not going to use my shaving cream, are you? Uh, let's get started. I, I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first thing that we're going to make is a shaving cream rain cloud. This beautiful, fun activity can lead to a discussion on rain and condensation. I'll have links on this post to some websites that will give further information on rain and condensation. I'll show you all you need to make your shaving cream rain cloud. Let's get started. I used three small containers. Mine were glass, so you could see what I'm doing. A wide mouth glass jar, shaving cream, and food coloring. Also, you need a syringe, dropper, or a quarter teaspoon. I put some water in the three containers. I added drops of different colored food coloring to each one. Next, I stirred up the water and food coloring just to make sure it was mixed well. I tried this activity in several ways, and I found that actually using a large vase worked best. It was tall, and you could really see the colors coming down. Spray some shaving cream on top of the water inside the vase. I used the syringe, but you can use a quarter teaspoon or a dropper and get some of the first food coloring that you want to use into it and just squirt it in and watch and see what happens. After the green started to show up, I wanted to put in the other colors and see what happened. This was so easy and fun to do, it turned out really pretty too. It can lead to a great discussion about how water fills up clouds and then it begins to rain. For my next shaving cream activity, I wanted to make puffy paint. I'd seen that done many times, but I'd never done it myself. It's really easy. All you need is liquid glue, shaving cream, food coloring, and one bowl per color that you want to use. I used paper bowls for an easy cleanup. I put equal amounts of glue and shaving cream into each bowl and stirred it well. Then I added the food coloring and stirred that. Here are the three colors I chose ready to go. I wanted to paint some balloons, so I drew out the strings for the balloons and then used my puffy paint for the rest.
It dried quickly. It was a really fun project. Let's try another shaving cream project. If you like things with really cool textures, this is for you. It's called shaving cream sand foam. I just love the way that it felt and there's so many fun things you can do with it. Let me show you how to make it. I started with this plastic container, but I ended up using a small metal pan. It worked better for me. I needed three cups of dry, clean sand and shaving cream. I put the three cups of sand into the container. Then I added shaving cream until it was a consistency that I liked. I mixed it together with my hands. It really stuck to my hands, so you may want to use plastic gloves while you do it. But it's really okay if it sticks to your hands. You're going to be playing in it anyway. Once it's totally mixed together, it doesn't stick like that. I added more and more shaving cream and mixed it again. When it got to a consistency I really liked, I transferred it to a smaller pan. You can add as much sand or shaving cream as you want and make it as big as you want. This is what mine ended up looking like. Children can use it just to play in or they could learn to write their letters in a fun way. You can even hide things in it like alphabet letters, maybe some plastic ones, and they could do an alphabet search and tell you what letter they found. You could hide things like dinosaurs in it or, or just play in it. It's so much fun. I loved how it felt. I hope you enjoyed these quarantine and rainy day ideas. I had a lot of fun with the shaving cream, from rainbows to puffy paint and balloons, and then some shaving cream sand foam that I could play in. I really had a great time. I wish I had thought of these ideas when I was in quarantine. If you end up doing some of these, I would love to see a picture of what you've done. You can email them to me at bbowen at mcls.ms.